I'm Gregor, I run tours of local cemeteries here in Dunedin. I have found hundreds of stories and there are thousands more to find. A taphophile um, comes from the same root word as epitaph and it means a lover of cemeteries. I guess as, as old places and places full of history, um, I've, I have been interested in cemeteries for a while, but what particularly piqued my interest was a grave here in the Southern Cemetery in Dunedin with the words who were brutally murdered, as well as names and dates on it. And that's when I went home and I discovered Papers Past, which is just the most amazing resource. I couldn't blog without it. One of the most notable stories that I've found of the thousands of stories that are here in the cemetery is that of um, Catherine Jarvie. She was a sea captain's wife and her husband bigamously married another woman who arrived very unexpectedly at the family home and her husband poisoned her for the other woman. Her daughter testified against her father and her husband, Captain Jarvie, was the first man to be hanged in the South Island. There is a grave here, which is interesting because of its spelling mistake. And I've seen a few spelling mistakes. I've seen uh, parts of inscriptions chiseled out. But here in the Southern Cemetery is a young man who died in an air crash in Britain during World War I. And his gravestone or his commemoration says that he was in the Royal Naval Flying Corps, which never existed. There was a Royal Flying Corps and a Royal Naval Air Service. They both combined on April 1, 1918 to become the Royal Air Force. He had the rank of sub-lieutenant, which is a naval rank, so obviously he was in the RNAS. But I've no idea how and why the mistake was put on his gravestone or his commemoration on the family gravestone. What I hope people take away from tours of cemeteries here in Dunedin is the idea that history is made up of people and those people were alive and they lived and they loved and they hated and they had dreams. Often they lived very different lives, but essentially they were like us and they're here and their stories can be told.